Class A day. Save the top for the last. Oh, yeah. So That's the way it should be. The way, way it should be. Class A day. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're hearing it from Columbia. Let us let, let us fly under the radar uh, thing on Twitter. Uh, say, hey, we like it that way. Hey. By the way, that game was sixty-one fifty-nine. Lee and Bartram Trail last year. <laughs> yeah, that, that, Bartram, Lee was down fifty-nine forty-six with like three minutes. To that's go. what they call a barn burner. Yeah, sixty-one fifty-nine. You burnt. <laughs> yeah. By the way, Bartram Trail. I just noticed they're opening uh, the Saturday game Cartersville. at Carsville. That's Georgia. an ESPN yeah. game right. too. So as well. they're going to go out of state as well. All right, sorry. Class A day. Cl- class A day rankings presented by ScoreStream here again. Appreciate the guys at ScoreStream, Derek Owen and. And his team, just wonderful there at ScoreStream. So we got to give another big shout-out to ScoreStream with what they do for us here at FloridaHSFootball.com. But to get into our five in the bubble for Class 8A, Orange City University again. <laughs> this one, th- this is a team that's been real interesting with the, the last few years. But Columbus, Columbus, uh, Wakaiva, Winter Park, Western, and Western, those are the five teams. I think I'm going to catch some flack for having Columbus five in the bubble mm. instead of in the top ten. Mm. But there's a reason why I had to move Columbus onto the outside to five on the bubble, and that's because of the loss of Josh Joby. Because he is not – basically, he is disqualified because of the age limit. He is over the 19-year mark, and it's now because it's 19 years straight up before September 1. You turn 19, you're, you're, you're not eligible. Mm-hmm. Right. So the Columbus, that hurt them a little bit. I think that was one of their best defensive playmakers right there. I mean, that to me, I think that's a little issue right there. I think i got to see how Columbus gets through that, and especially since I mean, Columbus has got a tough schedule this year. I mean, I, don't, don't get me wrong. I think Columbus can play through it. It's just a matter – kind of show me if they can actually get through it. Yeah, go back to the top Let's there. go back to Orange University. University. 16-5 and five the last two seasons, and no playoffs for them. I mean, I mean – Because two years ago it was because of the – they were with the, with the ineligible right. player. Last year they went 8-2 and two and lost two games in district two. Uh, and that was the uh, like Brantley in San Francisco, right. who was a, a third. Who was a, yeah. it was a state semifinals. And right. I, I, this so. year, this year, the, I think of the situation you finish eight and two, you're in the playoffs. You're right. in the university. And, and I guess what I meant earlier when I said about Eastside, you know, it, we talk about the teams that won one or two games that are in the playoffs, but there are the teams that go eight and two and make the playoffs too. And University last year was one of those who would have been in the postseason most likely under the new system. And instead of with that, with the districts, they finished third, and and that's uh, two losses were to district teams. So you're right. Not only does it help, uh, you know, weed out the teams that have bad records it kind of helps the teams that have really good records that should be in the playoffs right and Orange City University Uni- is a good example of that Orange yeah and that's that's the big thing Orange City University should have been in it, and that's that's the big thing here but uh let's go into the six through ten part of the class 8a top 10 let's start with 10 Park Vista 9 Delray Beach Atlantic 8 Kissimmee Osceola 7 Sanford Seminole and 6 Apopka the Blue Darters I mean, I think Apopka, you know, Apopka, I think that was a fluke last year, getting knocked out in the first round by Timber Creek. I know some people are going to be asking me why Timber Creek ain't ranked. Well, that, there's there's different stories behind that. I'm just not confident right to stick with Timber Creek just yet. Mm-hmm. But Apopka, I really feel like they, they you know, they, Rick Darlington and his team at Apopka, you know, it might be one, you know, they, 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 let's look at it. The last time they lost a first-round playoff game, next year they were, we, we, they, they were making runs. Right. So that's that's what's happened. You know, I think that's what the situation is setting up for Popka again. Sanford Seminole, I mean, they, they, they lost a few key playmakers, but I still think they're in, in the mix. Osceola is still in the mix. Delray Beach Atlantic, they're going to have a lot back. Park Vista, I think, you know, again, I think they're going to be really good again this year, in my opinion. But, you know, again, first-round playoff loss last year, but I think they can probably recover for that in, in, the, in this in this mix of stuff, so that's mm-hmm. that's the that's the six through ten right there. I mean, it's that's that's pretty loaded too. I, I mean, mean, you mentioned those two, Apopkas that have won state championships, Seminoles in the past. Osceola's been there uh, as recently as what uh, last year, right? In the championship? Oh no, two years ago. So uh, yeah, Osceola's been there. Yeah, Osceola got knocked out in the first round last year by Treasure two years Coast. Ago, Tre- the Treasure Coast. So that, that that was a that was a thing right there. So that was the, that was one of the big things right there in that, in that thing. So. Yeah, they played Flanagan two years ago for the 8A title. Yeah. Osceola did. And then, yeah, go to your top five there, and your defending state champ there at the top. Man, this top five, this I think for me, Class A trying to figure – Class 8A with the, with the rankings was a little was a little interesting because really I think it's – Class 8A, in my opinion, is more of a wide-open classification when it comes to terms of 
teams that, okay, who's going to do what and, you know, who can make the state championship game. I think that's always the case every year mm -hmm. with Class 8A and, and all that. So, Well, I, and, and I'm sorry. But oh, the, no. Uh, again, look at uh, the Deerfield Beach. <laughs> Deerfield Beach, zero, Coral zero, Gables. Zero Beach Florida. at 5, Coral Gables 4, Deerfield Beach at 3, oh, and, Dr. And, Phillips at 2, and Miami Southridge and at 1. your championship game last year for 8A with Southridge, Dr. Uh, Phillips. And Dr. Phillips looked like they were heading in to maybe win that game, driving into the game. They throw a pick 6, and Southridge Dr. wins Phillips that, going got, away. And they got a lot of the talent back this year. Miami Southridge, I mean, they had a lot – Quite a few seniors graduate, but the cupboard is the, the, the cover. It's not bare at all. No, the cupboard's not bare at all. People, not not at Miami Southridge. Not not under Billy Roll. You know, what I mean Billy Roll. I mean, Billy you, you Roll, talk, yeah. you know, a phenomenal coach. Rodney Wells at Doctor Phillips, Javon Glenn at Deerfield Beach, and then uh, Tim Neal, who comes over from Southwest Miami, is at Coral Gables, and Lenny Janikowski at Vero Beach. Those coaches I mean they know Vero mm -hmm. Beach went to the furthest they have been in a, a little while. So this is big for them, you know, with, with this the thing. But Miami Southridge, number one, I think that's, again, a no-brainer right there, starting them off at number one. Last year, a lot of people had doubts about Miami Southridge, didn't want to rank them, kind of ranked them low, kind of like, oh, are they going to really win the state championship? And, well, sure enough, here's Miami Southridge winning yeah, the state were. championship. And, and you know what? Not making that mistake this year, people. Not not at all. No. Mm -hmm. Miami Southridge is number one. They're number one for a reason. They've got to really – I mean, they, they're, they're really going to be – Strong again, and I, I, I think Larry Bluestein will be very happy. Number one, Miami <laughs> South Region 8A. Hey, South, South Florida, South Florida, hey, right there. Deerfield Beach, Coral Gables. I mean, that's that's pretty much loaded right there for, for those teams.